showed you how to what you were looking for when you're buying a coconut and how to crack open a coconut as well as how to get coconut water out of a coconut so today we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm here's fresh coconut meat which um, I got out of my last segment and I'm gonna show you what we need to do in order to get coconut milk so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fresh meat that you got out of the coconut and you can visit my website by the way um, to view that video on how to crack open your own coconut. But you're gonna take this meat and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put it in a food processor. Just, I have chunks of meat here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that into a food processor. Really is quite simple and it tastes so much better than store-bought um, coconut milk. And most of you know it's hard to find coconut milk that doesn't have gear gum in it. Um, which I try to stay away from. But I want to go ahead and show you. Once you make your own, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I really think you're going to enjoy it. But you're going to go ahead and put it into a food processor. And you're going to take two cups, two to four cups. Now, yesterday I made some and it was four um, cups. They seem to be a little watered down. So today I'm using, um, I'm only going to put two cups of uh, water. But if it's too thick for you or it's too coconutty, you can always add a little bit more water. Anyways, you put hot water into your food processor over the coconut meat. And all we're gonna do is we're going to run this through the food processor for 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this out. for your um, coconut butter and coconut flour. So again, we're using every part of the coconut. So you go ahead and finish pressing all your coconut, well, milk out of the coconut. recipe on my site for hot cocoa um, using coconut milk or you could use this for the eggnog that I have on my recipe as, um, on my website as well so many possibilities and um, go ahead and use this pretty quickly um, it's really good fresh if you want you could freeze this um, in a little ice cube tray and then when you need um, coconut milk you could just pull out a few ice cubes um, and that would work out nicely as well just an idea so from this point I'm gonna go ahead and show you we, Oh, so here's your coconut water, and here's your coconut milk. The coconut water, I showed you how to get out um, the other segment yesterday, and then this is my coconut milk. Clearly, they're two different products, both very delicious. Okay, from this point, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and use this, um, uh, this coconut that we just got coconut milk out of, and we're going to go ahead and take it and put it on a tray. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna spread the coconut out in a very thin layer. And there's two ways that you can dehydrate coconut. 
um, well actually three. If you have a dehydrator, you can go ahead and dehydrate it. I do not have a dehydrator, I can't believe it, but I don't. Um, the other way that you can dehydrate is you can um, go ahead and put it in a 200 degree oven uh, for six to eight hours. Um, I actually put mine overnight and I put it at 175. If you don't have access to that, you can leave it out for two to three days and it will dry on its own. And then you'll have dried coconut flakes. So basically, here's your coconut. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my 200 degree oven for six to eight hours and um, then we'll have our dry coconut. In our next segment, I'm gonna show you how to take this dry coconut and make coconut butter and coconut flour. Until next time, this is Hallie Cottis. I hope you enjoyed this segment on coconuts. Um, we'll see you in our next segment.